Welcome back. I'm actually going to be doing a drone review today, so something a little new should be interesting. I hope you like it. Um, so what drones are best for your robot, right? We're going to go all the way from the bottom to the tippy top of it. Starting with starter drone. Easy peasy, right? So a mild damage fix, right? Whenever you take more than 70,000 damage within five seconds, it will repair a portion of the durability. And it happens every five seconds, which is really good, especially in, um, you know, early gameplay. Next up is the sidekick. And this one on low durability, you get defense. So whenever you fall below 35% health, you get 16 defense points. And if you didn't know, 16 defense points is the equivalent of 13% damage reduction or 115% total effective durability if you are at max health. So this one is uh, pretty good for that extra little bit of defense, right? You get 13%. Then we have the defender. So on mild damage, you get an Ansel shield. And whenever you take over 70,000 damage within five seconds, you get a 20,000 Ansel shield, which only protects you from kinetic weapons. But uh, in early gameplay, most people are only using kinetic anyway, so this isn't isn't really too bad of a choice if you have it. And then we have the fly. So this is where it gets a little bit more exciting. Whenever you use your module, uh, robot's damage output is increased for seven whole seconds by 2%, and it goes up to, I think, 3%. Um, so, yeah, so whenever you use your module, extra damage for you by 2%. Not bad. Uh, me, personally, I would probably go with the starter, honestly, because every five seconds, you get a 12,000 damage repair, which is way better than having to meet a threshold for some defense that may or may not last because you don't have healing in the game, right, at an early game point, or an Ansel Shield that only protects from uh, physical weapons or the fly. Fly would probably be my next choice just for the extra damage but that's where i stand on these early drones so now let's get into the next tier tier two next up are the tier two drones so we have the sharpshooter discus and the good guy starting with the sharpshooter this thing has an imitating rifle that deals 2,000 damage every 10 seconds at up to the range of 800 meters all the time. Pretty awesome. It also gives your robot an additional 3% damage all the time throughout the whole game. Super awesome. Next up is the discus. So whenever you capture a beacon, you get speed every um, for seven seconds for every single beacon that you capture and it also effectively increases your movement speed by 3% for the whole battle whenever you use this drone. So not a bad pick. And then we have the good guy. Once your robot reaches 30% uh, durability or below, it'll give you a 12,000 uh, durability Aegis Shield for 20 seconds. And then it could activate again if you end up healing some and then coming back down, it'll activate that Aegis Shield again. And then it also gives your robot durability, extra 3% all the time, once you level it. So out of these three drones, I would personally probably go with the sharpshooter for the additional damage all the time, and for the extra rifle. These three. The discus and good guy are pretty good, but uh, discus would be my next, and then the good guy. All right, next is tier three drones, starting with the eye. So this thing has a target seeking minigun, pretty cool, reloads every 20 seconds, has a range of 500 meters and deals 450 damage per bullet. This is active during the whole game for your robot. Also it increases the damage of your robot for the whole game and applies a 10% death mark that is on cooldown for 20 seconds after it marks the enemy. Pretty freaking awesome. Then we have the Nebula. So the Nebula, uh, whenever you take more than 150,000 damage within three seconds, 
then it'll fix 30,000 of that every 30 seconds. It also gives you durability on deployment, and whenever you take high damage, over 150 damage, while you're healing, that 30,000, it'll give you an absorber shield for one second. So you, you have just that little bit of time to get into cover. It might save your life. Or the Wasp. The Wasp has an imitating rifle that does 3,000 damage at a range of 800 meters. So it fires, its reload is 10 seconds. Its uh, damage per shot is 3,000. It also gives your robot an additional 5% damage during the whole battle and it starts uh, dealing damage over time once you level it up to level 9. Then we have the Persephone. The Persephone is the great, probably the best uh, low, lower level, mid level healing drone for, uh, for you if you like playing support. I would definitely recommend this one. It shoots an energy particle at your allies to repair them. That does 470 damage. Uh, so damage is really healing, but it does that every five seconds. It has a range of 500 meters, or the reload time is five seconds. It does it pretty often. It also gives your, uh, your robot an additional 5% damage, as well as it heals your robot 800 uh, health per second. So you get pretty much Wonder Worker on your robot immediately by running Persephone. Really awesome. Then we have the Iron Hearth here. On Freeze Immune or Blast Immune, you get defense points. So if you're immune from Blast or Freeze, immediately you get defense points, which is awesome. It gives your robot durability on deployment, and at level 9, it finally gives you immunity to Freeze and Blast effect. So it gives you immunity for 5 seconds every 20 seconds which will then give you defense points for 10 seconds. Love that. Love how it plays off each other. Then we have the Whiteout Drone. This drone is really strong. I've definitely seen it in Champion League as well. Uh, so it does an AoE EMP effect for 100 meters range around your robot. It does it every 4 seconds, uh, and the EMP lasts for 3 seconds. It does also 3,900 damage with its EMP blast. It increases your robot speed by 5% for the whole duration of the game, and whenever you take high damage, so more than 100,000 damage in 3 seconds, it will repair 50,000 of that damage, and this uh, is every single 5 seconds. So it repairs half immediately. Then we have the Patron. So whenever you're blinded, you get stealth for 3 seconds, and the cooldown on this is every 20 seconds. Whenever you deal uh, damage, it is increased by 5% for the whole game, and you become immune to blind. Once you level it to level 9, then you're, you're immune to blind for um, 5 seconds, and then after 20 seconds, you can get it immunity to blind effect again, which is so good. Blind is crazy strong right now. Um, out of these drones, I definitely would run the eye if I didn't have the Kestrel for that. For something that you want to deal a lot of damage, definitely the eye. For a healer, the Persephone, just being a team player. And then the whiteout for a uh, you know, just going ham on the team, rushing and grabbing beacons and all that. Great, great robots. All these robots are great. The Patron is very specific, the Iron Hearth is very specific, and the Wasp is nice as well. A lot of people run the Wasp with a Loki. Um, the Nebula is also good for healing on a robot, like a tanky robot, you'd run the Nebula. Those are the drones in Tier 3. Alright, so... Now we have the tier 4 drones. These guys, so the glider, you're going to want to use this with phase shift module because it repairs 10% of the durability after you use your phase shift. And that is every 20 seconds it'll do that. It also gives you plus 7% durability on deployment of your robot. And after phase shift, it gives you increased speed to get into cover even more, just in case. And then 
as well as whenever you fall below 35%, it'll give you 40 defense points. 40 defense points is about 28.6% damage reduction or 140% durability. Next is the paralysis. So it gives your robot um, plus 0.8 effect lockdown accumulation per shot, which is really, really awesome. It also gives you additional damage and it uh, gives you additional damage again when you use a repair unit or an advanced repair unit. This does not work with the unstable conduit, by the way. Um, and then on the, uh, for the fourth one ability, it gives you defense whenever you use, use a repair unit. So using the repair unit is very vital to using this drone. And then we have the beak. So this thing gives you stealth whenever you receive more than 100,000 damage within three seconds, every 30 seconds. Um, it gives you additional damage, plus 7% additional damage. And then also gives you stealth whenever your robot first gets hit, which is really, really awesome. And then um, if you do use a, a repair unit or you get repaired by 7,000 damage or 40,000 damage within five seconds, it will automatically repair an extra 7,000 on top of that. Then we have the armadillo. Armadillo is really awesome to use, especially if you're going to grab beacons. Uh, whenever you capture a beacon, it gives you one defense point, uh, which you need five to get about 4.8% damage reduction. And then whenever you deploy, you get three kilometers per hour speed increase. And whenever you get a kill, you get 10 defense points. 10 defense points is the equivalent of 9.1% uh, damage reduction on your robot. So, as well as whenever you get a kill, it'll fix your robot by 8%. That does not include gray damage. And then we have the reviver. So it revives 24% of your robot's health when you reach zero. It also gives you an extra 10% durability. And whenever you revive, it gives you 85 defense points. 85 defense points is about 45.9% um, damage reduction for your robot for 10 seconds. And then also um, it gives you an Aegis Shield. So whenever you spawn, you just have it. You just have a 75,000 Aegis Shield off rip, which is really cool. Uh, then we have the Barrel Drone. The Barrel Drone uh, gives you plus 6% uh, damage additional whenever you fall below 20%. It also gives you plus 7% in general. It will explode when your robot is destroyed, dealing 80,000 damage in a 75 meter radius. And on low durability, um, when your robot falls below 20%, it gives you plus 15% movement speed for 40 seconds. Next up is the Daltaki drone. So overheating laser, uh, it fires a laser that never has to reload. It has up to 800 meters range and does 440 damage per uh, shot, right? Uh, so really cool laser there. It also gives you plus 7% damage. On module use, it gives you plus 10% speed increase and also plus 20% additional damage module use and speed on module use. Really, really awesome drone. And then we have the Kestrel. This is my most used drone. If you see my videos on PvP, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This thing, uh, it gives you a death mark that can apply up to three times. So 4% extra damage taken by enemy, up to 12% death mark, which is really awesome. Um, on there, and then additional 7% damage for the whole battle. On kill, you get speed, right? And this can stack up to four times. Uh, for the whole battle and then also on kill it fixes 17% repairable durability and 10% repairable gray damage which is amazing uh, then we have the showdown drone this thing really shines on the crisis robot whenever you are out of stealth you gain a 9% damage bonus whenever you take more than 70,000 damage it will repair 30% of your robot's durability every 5 seconds. Whenever you are in stealth, 
it gives you an 8% speed increase. And also your robots uh, cannot lose their weapons while they are rocking this drone. This is so good for the Crisis. It is literally designed for the Crisis pilot. So this is what a max showdown looks like. Stop drop 20%, same there. 8% speed increase there, can't lose your weapons. So insane damage. It is designed for this high stakes uh, Kintar Kirite that roulette on black. If you've read this, it's, yeah, it's interesting. Interesting. And this drone was made for her and the Crisis robot. If you're not rocking this drone on the Crisis, you're not playing the Crisis right. After the showdown, we have the Shy drone. Every time the robot deals 150,000 damage, you get four defense points. And that stacks up to five times for a total of 20 defense points or 16.7% damage reduction. On deployment, it gives you 7% durability. On low durability, or 35% and below, it gives you 7 km per hour increase on speed. And it also gives you a 35% threshold activation last stand. So it gives you a huge amount of temporary defense points. After the shy is the Hyruko with the imitating frag shotgun that applies slowdown. It can be affected up to 25 times. It will trigger and it does 3% effect power and lasts for 0.5 uh, seconds, right? For each duration. The reload time on this is six seconds with a 500 meter range, dealing 1,000, <laughs> 11,000, excuse me, 250 damage. It also increases your durability by 10%. Whenever you use a module, any module, it will give you 30,000 extra health. Uh, it'll also add da DOT to your robot damage over time, and this can stack up to 25 times. Then, uh, after the 240 health per second is done with the DOT for five seconds, uh, then you can use your active module again and gain it again. Really awesome. It also gives you a 5% additional damage uh, for each stack of DOT you have on your robot, and it can be applied up to 35 times. And then we have the Seeker Drone. This one gives you a quantum sensor at a 240 meter radius. It also gives you a plus 10% extra durability and plus 10% energy shield durability bonus as well. It gives you counter suppression effects. So if you shot the Newton, you know what this is. You get shot, they get suppressed by 70%. It is crazy and this is active all the time. It also has counter blind, so it applies blind to the opponents who shoot at you from over 600 meters. A crisis shoots at you, now they're blind. This is a really the, a beast of a drone. And then we have the Pascal drone. So on threshold, it fixes 10%. Once you reach um, 70, it'll heal 10% regular and 2% gray. 50, 30, same thing. It is a really good drone. It also increases the damage of your robot as well as once you reach 70, 50, and 30, it gives you plus 100 defense points extra, which is crazy. That's 300 defense points, which is the equivalent of 75% damage reduction for your robot. And whenever you get a kill or a kill assist, which stacks up to five times, it gives you 7% additional damage. It's 35% additional damage. Then we have the Queen Ting. The Queen Ting Electric Bite deals 1,211 damage at a range of 100 meters. Every one second, it'll do this damage. Uh, the effect lasts for five seconds. It gives your robot plus 7% damage um, and 10% additional damage if the opponent is locked down. It also uh, applies the lockdown for 150% more time. Using this on the new robot, the Shinlu, with the new weapons that apply lockdown, or a build that has lockdown weapons, will be really beneficial. Out of all these drones, the ones that I would use, the Shade Drone, just for the last stand and extra uh, defense, it's great for that. The 
Kestrel Drone 100% for any robot that you want out there dealing damage and moving fast on the battlefield. The Armadillo Drone, if you like capping beacons with the robot, getting that little bit of speed, extra speed, um, and defense points on kill too. The Queen Ting for any build that uses lockdown weapons, and especially for the new robot, so Champion League. Beak Drone is also great for robots that you want to use stealth with. The Showdown, I would definitely use with the Crisis. Uh, I don't have the Seeker or Pascal, unfortunately, but uh, I do have the higher build and it's great, but I do like the Kestrel better. I like the Kestrel just a little bit better, I do have to admit. So I hope you like this uh, ranking system video and I hope it helped out. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments and I hope to see you on my Discord. If you like videos like this, subscribe and leave a like.